Pat Lattice has been a multi-quarter darling of this uh, chip run and chip uh, glut and then this chip shortage. And, and frankly, it was a company that I think we credited, uh, you know, Jim Anderson and his leadership team with running extremely well throughout um, tumultuous times, getting into the right markets, really creating a, a, a strong lead in the low end FPGA space. Um, and the company had another good quarter record revenue. Now, no, it was slower growth, slower sequential, good margin performance, uh, solid year on year earnings per share. But like so many companies, sometimes the, the kind of that like growth beat raise musical chairs game does stop. This was the quarter where that music did stop for the first time. And I think it was like a dozen quarters. The guide was conservatively and down uh, for the company. And this is really associated with the industrials, industrials, say that yeah. again. Um, you know, the company uh, has rallied with the strength of industrial, but we actually saw in Qualcomm's numbers, which you'll talk about, uh, Silicon Labs numbers, which were both IoT, industrial and, I mean, that market just got clobbered. Now, frankly, not the case for um, for Lattice, which had solid performers, but it, performance, but it did slow. And that slowing is what's causing the conservative guidance and that conservative guidance caused sort of a, a pretty negative reaction on Wall Street. But, you know, coming out of these earnings, I, I just got to say, Pat, um, I think the company's really well positioned. I think they've been conservative. They've guided correctly. They've been building the right products. They've been getting uh, into areas like AI, uh, FPGAs for things like computer vision and other um, in, in critical designs for security. Uh, in laptops, in automotive, in, in servers. And the company's also expanding into that middle class. It, almost, it feels like a middle class of FPGAs that doesn't really exist uh, in a significant way. You kind of have that really high end, the Xilinx part of the market, the PSG part of Intel that's spinning off. But on the uh, lower to middle end, Lattice seems really well positioned to gain market share. It's really just ramping its Avant product. And so, well, of course, we always want the guide up, you know, you know the drill, Pat, beat, beat, raise, beat, beat, raise. The music can't go forever, but I actually think overall it was a solid quarter amidst some pretty significant headwinds. And if you saw that jobs report that came out today, um, you know, I think we're going to find out at some point that a lot of the data we've been getting is horse poo poo um, for a while now. The feeling in the market isn't nearly as good as what I'm actually seeing in the market. And starting to see some of these slowdowns, some slightly weaker guides, um, you know, is is probably a good thing. And also starting to see turns in some of the things that have been incredibly weak over the last few quarters, years, is also a good sign because we know the economy is cyclical. Dan, you left me a little air, not a lot, but fun. You like to talk about anything you want. No, listen, <clears throat> none of this is self-inflicted other than if you look at 14 quarters of revenue, gross margin, EPS, and operating profit improvements as self-inflicted. Um, the markets that are down, they were down in, uh, and uh, there's really, you know, they've done a decent job making up increasing market share and B, getting into brand new markets that so far, don't yawn on me, buddy. Uh, they've been able to over uh, uh, overcome at least EP on, you know. Jeez, so, <laughs> it's like oh, it's so interesting. <laughs> Yo, listen, five uh, G telecom down, not a shock, right? All of IoT. First, it was the consumer IoT, and then then it was the industrial IoT, right? Uh, auto uh, up with with many automakers except for tesla as we saw with with on uh on semiconductor so um great lineup uh they're increasing their tam uh with avant by at least 50 percent and um you know so it's not like some big conundrum of where they're going to get their uh growth from markets go up they're going to go up. They're going to continue to gain uh, market share in areas that uh, their competitors have le left uh, uncovered, uh, and even areas where they're converting uh, a low-end uh, 
microprocessor or microcontroller to uh, an FPGA. So all in all, I'm not panicked and uh, nobody else should be. Uh, I don't trade in the stock. I don't trade in any any of our uh, paid clients uh, or anybody mm -hmm. I've signed an NDA with.